What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and today we're taking a look at the Android Pie beta for the OnePlus 6. Now, Android Pie has been available for the OnePlus 6 for a little while now, but it's been in developer preview form, and this is the very first beta. And if you're coming from the previous Android uh, Pie builds, um, there's not gonna be a ton of changes, but if you're coming from the more stable builds, the Android Oreo, um, you're gonna notice a lot of changes. So let's go over what those are. So the first major change that you're gonna notice is with the navigation gestures. So they've updated the navigation gestures to include the Android Pie navigation, and you also have the option of using the, I guess you can call them old school navigation buttons with back, home, and recent apps. And then of course the Android Pi version or Google's implementation is with the pill shape button, which you can tap on to go home. You can also swipe up uh, to go to your recent apps, or you can just slide across left and right on the pill shape button itself to uh, scroll through them. And then of course you have the back button for going back. And then there's OnePlus's implementation, which is very similar to the iPhone 10, where if you swipe up, it'll take you home swipe up and hold and it'll take you to your recent apps and then if you swipe up on either the left or right side it'll just take you back another major change is the gaming mode it's been updated to version 3.0 and you can find this under utilities and then gaming mode and you now have notifications for third-party calls and you can also show your notifications with just text only. Do not disturb mode is also updated as well. You can now set a schedule so you can pick anywhere between uh, 15 minutes all the way up to 12 hours. And you can also pick uh, when you want do not disturb to turn on, uh, which is something that you couldn't do with previous builds. Those are pretty much all of the major changes with this Android Pie beta. And if you're coming from the dev previews, you won't notice a whole ton of changes, but if you're coming from Oreo, you're obviously gonna see a lot of aesthetic differences. Um, the notification shade obviously looks different. They've also updated shelf. Uh, you'll notice that the cards are now ever so slightly transparent. You might not be able to see it that well on camera, but take my word for it, they are slightly transparent. And then the breaks in between the cards have also been color matched to the cards themselves. So if you're on a light theme, the breaks will be light. And if you're on the dark theme, obviously the breaks will be dark. And you'll also notice that the labels on the cards ha now have an icon next to them. So it kind of just makes shelf look a little bit nicer and a little bit more refined. Uh, they've also re-implemented the theme engine. So you now can customize uh, the UI with different colors, uh, which is under display. So again, you can pick from a light or dark theme or colorful if you want. And you can also pick different accent colors. So if you have like red, purple, blue, green, or whatever color that is you want, just select it, hit okay. And you'll see that it starts to change the color here. Now everything is green, including the toggles in the shade itself. Um, but that is pretty much all of the big major changes with the Android Pie beta. Um, if you wanna install it, it's actually really simple. We'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, but the way that you do it is you download the file, uh, you go to settings, go to system, then go to system updates, and then you'll hit the cogwheel here and select local upgrade. And then you just select the file and it'll automatically flash it. And then you reboot your phone and you will be on Android Pie. Uh, so it's a very simple installation process. Uh, OnePlus does mention that it's not perfectly stable. Of course, it's the beta. There are some known issues. Uh, one of them is Google Pay doesn't work. And another issue is the Google Play Store will not recognize this as a certified device. So those are the couple of known issues. There might be some other minor bugs here and there, but I personally haven't really noticed anything major just yet. Uh, but that's really it. That is the Android Pie beta for the OnePlus 6. Again, if you wanna flash it, uh, check the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, of course. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.